Hi everybody, it's me again, Miss D. Um, so I wanted to kind of share with you one of the activities that I'm going to have hanging on the walls up in the treehouse playhouse and it's also a really fun activity for you to set up for your little ones. It's really inexpensive. Basically everything except the markers I got at the dollar store, but you could even get the markers at the dollar store. This is just a pocket chart. Um, and I use it for teaching music. I use it for everything. And I just happen to have a shelf that I could put some holes in and just tied it up here. Um, and it's kind of camouflaging and hiding some storage. So um, the other thing I found is I found these letters at Target in their dollar, dollar collection. And they're actually sticky letters you could put on a bulletin board or a poster. Um, but I'm going to leave, leave them with the backing on it so that I can use them for different things. They are all uppercase. You can kind of tell they're a funky little font, but um, we can talk about more that, about that later. So what I did was I spelled my son Jamie's name with these letters. Spelling our names and our names are one of the very first words that most children identify because it's important, it's them and it's their identity. So because I have all these letters and all these different colors, I spelled Jamie's name out as many times as I could. And then I have some extra letters here too. So, so if you have a preschooler, three, four, five, or a kindergartner, three, four, five year old at home, and you just encourage them to spell out their name. Now, these letters are ginormous. They aren't gonna let you spell out my other child's name, Patrick. My daughter, Sarah, I could probably get her name up here. Um, if these letters are too big, the dollar store actually has letters you can punch out, you know, press out. Um, or, you know, if you have a Cricut at home, you know, you can size them any way. These pockets are about two inches tall um, and they're made to fit something three to four inches. So go ahead and find whatever size works for you and your child's name. Now, if you have a two or three year old at home, obviously they can probably maybe sing the ABCs, but it's just a song to them. There's no meaning. Letters don't really mean anything to them. So if Jamie were younger and he were maybe three or four or five, what I might do is trace the letters onto a, on a, onto a card or even a bigger piece of paper. And what I'm going to do right now, though, is show you how if it were the first day of kindergarten and I had my class list, I would probably do something like this. And hopefully I have all my marker colors in here. Um, I like using the smelly markers. Um, it's fun for the kids to use a smelly marker. So the first, I'm going to write his name with this color combination first. And I'm going to do it all in capitals. So J A If you're looking to do a Montessori based homeschool preschool kindergarten, this is very Montessori in that it is self correcting. Remember, you're going to make the letters look just like they are up here as much as you can. I didn't do it very well because they were going to squish on here. But now, the other thing you can do is put a picture of Jamie or a smile sticker up in this corner. If you only have one child at home doing this activity, um, you could put a small picture of that child. Uh, Polaroid now makes a nice little uh, camera that will print off pictures directly from your phone. You could just stick one of those on here. Or put a smiley face up in this corner. Um, I forgot to grab my smiley face stickers. But that way, your child knows that it goes like this. And now it becomes, can you make your name look like that? A blue J that looks like that. A purple A looks like that an orange m a pink i and a yellow e 
if you help them do this the first couple of times through, um, then they'll get the hint of that. Then you can go ahead and add another combination, another color combination. So now we have a green J. Let's see if I can do a better job with these letters this time. J, a blue A. Purple M, a yellow I, and a pink E. your name look like that it's great for color recognition it's great to let for left to right progression let's see now I've got all these letters to choose from so I need a green J oops what did I forget to do I forgot to make the top of the J look like the J on our felt letters I forgot it on the top too So does this J look like that J? And it, it blends into the pocket chart. So it's just, <laughs> it didn't, it, it's a little hard to see, sorry. Oh, and there's an A, blue A, purple M, yellow I, and a pink E. E, pinky. So that's like a beginning stage. The next stage might be that you either do, um, depending on how they progress, hopefully the next thing you could do would be this. Can you spell the name, can you spell your name Jamie without any color help? Can you just find those letters? So now Jamie has just the letters to guide him. And maybe you start at that point counting. Okay, you only need one, five letters. One, two, three, four, five. He's already done a blue J and a green J, so he knows that this J looks like that. So that's just an easy way to get started with this. Eventually, what you can do is um, there's fo different fonts you can print off. And you'll want to add letters in whatever kind of font. Uh, handwriting you're going to do with your children and eventually you'll want him to understand that this and this are both his name. This is Jamie with a big J and all capital letters. And this is Jamie with lowercase letters. You'll find out as we go through the year that I'll that when I teach letters, I teach them both at the same time. Most of the time when children read letters, when they start reading books, the letters will be in lowercase. So it's important for you not to separate the two alphabets. But if you have these first, it's just kind of a colorful way to start um, adding things in. When, let's say that we are doing um, M. So let's say we've moved on through the year and with my kindergartners or my older preschoolers, when we're talking about getting them ready for school, 
if we're doing a certain letter of a week of the week, um, usually man, I do M in October. And when we get to October, we've already done our word wall already includes the letters A. E, S, and F. So we already have a, a, a good vowel sound that we can put with things. So we might want to, because we want to use the lower cat case, if I've got a letter M for mask, I might make cards or uh, lines and say, A, and have them build words like that. Okay, well, let's see. Now I have an M, an A, and a T. Can I find an A? Can I find a T? That's a good question, because I've had all these letters are down. There's, nope, is that a T? Yep, that's a T. Hey, look, I found the M, an A, and a T. I wonder if I'm going to blue M. Anyway, um, and so it can even become a two-person activity. When I taught kindergarten, this was, um, I had a pocket, a huge pocket chart and when we did poems in the morning whatever our keywords or the words with the phonics we were working with um, they would work in teams or even individually building poems and lines and excuse me and words at the preschool level though um, I'll be sharing different activities we'll be doing rainbow fish and chicka chicka boom boom and I'll show you all kinds of different thing, ways we can put an activity together um, that's that is self-correcting inexpensive for you but something you can lead your you know introduce your child to and then let them play at nap time or whatever so thanks for watching my video this is one of our letter play videos so if you see that letter play playlist you know that those are the kind of things we're gonna do thanks for watching see you soon bye